joins in. Thanks a lot for joining in, Mr. Desai. First up, could you give us a sense of what has, uh, what's the consideration for which these container ships have been acquired and what, uh, how, how are you all funding it? Yeah, uh, we have actually two container vessels. One is of 700 TU vessel and the other is 299 TU vessel. Uh, one is basically to work, uh, uh, 702 vessel we bought it for 2.9 million and uh, the, the 3002 vessel we bought it for 7 million. Okay. Uh, what's the current capacity utilization and uh, with these acquisition of these two ships, what would be the benefit to your revenues? Um, we, it will take a certain time because right now we are acquired and then uh, we will be, we are already in the process to plan our regular uh, uh, service on West Coast and East Coast uh, uh, of India. Whatever you should expecting at least it should increase that minimum 10 to 15 percent revenue it should uh, add to our, uh, it should add up uh, in our current uh, revenue. And by when will this reflect on your uh, income statements? If we, we just acquired it, so then we'll now it will uh, it will be coming to on the service because uh, it, in couple of, like in couple of months, uh, and then accordingly it will uh, add in say basically uh, it will act exact impact will come in the next quarter. Okay, Mr. Desai, we'll leave it at that. Thanks so much uh, for joining in to that Shreya's shipping on the back of the two acquisitions that they've done of ships. Time for a very short break. When we return, MEP Infra is buzzing in trade. So as promised, we'll get chatting with the management.